can you tell me when to go because the other time it had me going. You can go yeah. now. It's being taped right now. Yeah, so it's, it's being taped for right five now. seconds. Yeah. So hi everybody. So this is Grace and I having a conversation before um, that happens. So want to do um, just jump in right now. I know it's a little bit earlier, but I don't know if anybody guessed on what you thought I was making. But this is one of my fun um, things to do that I found is to make jalapeno poppers in the bundt cake. And the reason why is you can see here. Now again, I would fill this up if um, we had more people coming. Um, I'm doing this sort of an honor because aren't the Patriots playing tonight? Isn't there some football tonight? Um, you don't so like the this would be a great um, football ball um, little party appetizer kind of thing but since I could probably eat this whole entire thing um, and we're not making all of them so again a great way to use these the bunt pan again because they stand up so we can get a whole lot more in here these are just the jalapenos you can buy them as a bag um, so I had two bags so there's about 20 of them here now again you yeah, should have had gloves on because I'm sure I'm gonna pay for this later but I just topped off the top and then used my really good uh, little paring knife and just sort of went in and, and cored it out to get all that um, junk out because the seeds and the white veins, that's what's going to make them really spicy. Um, I am not a huge lover of really spicy foods, but what I like about doing jalapeno poppers is that these peppers actually start to roast and so they get really sweet that way as well. This recipe, and again, I'll share this later for you, is cream cheese. It was um, some bacon crushed up. Um, and then I just use some mozzarella. I think it uses some other um, things, but I have some shredded mozzarella. Threw that in, and then also a little bit of onion powder and some garlic powder and some salt, and that's what we put in there. Um, I could shove some tin foil, and I don't know if I'm gonna do that, to put tin foil in to sort of keep them open. Then it says to put some more, another little layer of cheese, um, over top. So I'm going to sort of pull it into little pieces. So this is going to bake. I We have to run to an appointment. So I wanted to get this all ready and show you how this was done. I'm glad I've got a little bit of that cream cheese mixture left because I think that's going to be really good on a spoon or something. I mean cream cheese and bacon. You can't go wrong with that. Grace and I have already been tasting it. Um, so these will bake and then they'll be perfect. So once they bake, I will show another picture and I'll get you guys the recipe for later. Um, so really a fun, maybe a fun appetizer this weekend for the football games, um, but just to um, have a, another great reason to use your bun cake, a uh, bun pan. And again, this is gonna be nice because it's gonna pop right out even though we're gonna melted cheese and stuff like that, that could sometimes be tough to um, get off that it'll come right out. Hope you guys like that Oreo cheesecake bun cake that I shared with you earlier. Um, that's going to be a to die for a recipe. And again, right up my alley because it's easy. So thanks so much, guys. And um, I will post a picture of these later. And I can't wait to taste them. Have a great afternoon. End it? Yes, end it.